Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see how the concept of factorials can help us to find the coefficients in a binomial expansion. In the previous videos, we saw how we can use Pascal's triangle to do so, but we can actually do it in a more succinct manner. So here we have a new definition, the binomial coefficients format. Whenever you have two parentheses with two numbers inside like this, this physically means this on the right side of the equation. Notice we take the top number and we make that into a factorial and factorial. We take the bottom number, we make that into m factorial. And then in the denominator, we take the difference of the two numbers and we make that a factorial as well. So that's a general formula of that binomial coefficient format. It turns out that m will never be bigger than n. n will always be bigger or equal to m. So here we have a few examples. We'll show you how that works. But before we do that, we want to show you what the significance is of the numbers. First of all, let's take the top number. The top number is the same as the exponent in the binomial expansion. Here the number 5 is equal to the number 5 over here. So the top number indicates the exponent of the binomial expansion. The bottom number indicates the exponent of the second term in the binomial expansion. So here you see 3, and we're looking for the term that contains b to the third power, which is this. The result of this calculation will equal the numerical coefficient of that particular term. In this example here, we're looking for b to the second power, which is right here. And so we're looking for this numerical coefficient, which we will get when we expand this out the way it's written. OK, let's go ahead and work this out and see what that looks like. So here on the top, we have 4 factorial. 4, that's the top number. So we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by m factorial, which in this case is 3. 3 times 2 times 1 multiplied times n minus m factorial. So this would be 3, uh, no, that would be 4, not 3, but 4 minus 3 factorial. So you can see that's 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial times the difference between the two, 4 minus 3 factorial. So this becomes 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. And of course, 4 minus 3, that's 1 factorial. And if you remember, 1 factorial was equal to 1, so times 1. Now you can see that you can easily simplify this. You have a 3 in the numerator and the denominator. You have a 2 in the numerator and the denominator. So this becomes 1 and 1. And so this becomes in the numerator 4 divided by the denominator is 1 and simply equal to 4. And notice that's the number we were expecting because that's a numerical coefficient of this particular term. Let's see if the second one works out that way as well. So here we have 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial. So we'll go ahead and write it out exactly the way we have it there. So the top number 5 factorial, the bottom number 2 factorial, and then the difference between the two factorial. So that becomes, this is equal to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 3 factorial, and now we can simply write it out. Now, often you don't need to go to these steps. You can simply look at this and go directly to this format if you like whatever you feel most comfortable with, or you can simply go to the steps one at a time. So this becomes 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1 for 2 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 3 factorial. So we have 2 factorial times 3 factorial in the denominator and 5 factorial in the numerator. Now we can simplify that. Notice the 3 cancels out with the 3, the 2 cancels out with the 2, and this 2 cancels out with that 4. Now we have 5 times 2, which is 10 in the numerator, divided by all 1's in the denominator, which is equal to 10. And again, notice we got the right answer, the answer we're looking for, the numerical coefficient of this term, where b squared, that's the 2 right there, and 5 is the exponent of the binomial expansion. So you can see, this is a very slick, quick method to find any numerical coefficient of any term in the binomial expansion. And it can be done quite quickly when you use numbers like this and examples like that. Now, when the numbers get a little bit bigger, it takes a little bit more work to get to the arithmetic, but the method will be exactly the same. And that is how it's done.
Pascal's uh, triangle. So that's a good question. What's easier to do this or to do Pascal's triangle? And sometimes Pascal's triangle, especially for the smaller exponents, is quicker than to go ahead and use this method. It's when you get up to some very big numbers that you probably want to go here rather than use Pascal's triangle. Yes, it's when you have to get it for all of them, it becomes a lengthy process. But sometimes they only want the first or the third or the fourth one, and then it becomes a lot easier to do this. We'll show you some examples.